today I embark on a once in a lifetime journey. Our end goal, you say? Monaco. We are gonna be driving down to Monaco all the way from Portsmouth, England, and it's gonna be a 15 hour drive. 14 hours technically, but then if you complete the ferry, so. It's the reason for this trip, you must say. I've been invited to a yacht party in the city of Pan, in the Baltic Sea, to our holders of the Voyager Atlantic Ape Yacht Club, and we are going to network. Tactic number one is to ensure that we are safe. First off, we need to put on our motorcycle gear. <laughs> Step two is the most important part of this journey. We must make sure that we get ourselves a hammock. Yes, that is right. We are going to be sleeping in a hammock. We're going to be sleeping rough three nights. I saw this guy do it when he traveled across the entirety of America with a, only a penny. So if it works for him, it's going to work for me. This will save us a crucial 300 pounds, which is very important to me because I am broke. We are packed and ready to go. So we're going to go get the hammock and then I'm going to wake up at 3 a.m. magically, ready to our trip to Dover to get the ferry to Calais. This is what we're taking. We're taking little man guide, our extra chains and uh, D-locks, which is kind of cool, plus wallet and keys. When, uh, when we're riding, oh, we have clothes. This pocket's gonna be for uh, my motorbike uh, cover. Washy stuff and sanitary things here, like toothbrush, toothpaste. Here we have like utilities and like fixing things. So we have a pedal bike pump, so we can pump up our tires. A set of spanners, a ratchet, and I'm going to go home and get some chain lube. So uh, we've got all the tools we need. Move bit there, we've got two chains on it, which are gonna carry around our neck. I'm gonna put that in the bag, and uh, then we're off to Decathlon to get a hammock, which closes at seven in half an hour, so we're cutting it a bit late. Was my We've taken a dramatic turn um, <laughs> after finding out that my passport isn't in its usual location. I'm 90% sure it's in this safe um, and we lost the keys for this safe. All right, <laughs> we're in. We got it and it's still in date. Thank goodness it's, it runs out in 26, so we're all good. So I've angle grinded my safe, turned my room into a tip and uh, yeah, we got it. So yeah, so we've got the passport now. Uh, Decathlon is now closed, so I don't have any sleeping things. So I'm gonna have to have an adventure in France somewhere. I'm going to bed, waking up at 3 a.m. 3.30 a.m. Let's go. It's time to do adventure. Alright, it is 4 a.m. at the moment and I've stopped for a little stretch break because I didn't stretch before I left and I think I should. <laughs> Alright, this girl's gonna throw it down in. I want to get on that move. So it is now eight o'clock. I got to Dover roughly around roughly around six o'clock when my ferry was supposed to be leaving. So now I'm on the ferry after. Thankfully, they were able to transfer my ticket over. Uh, no issues there, which is good. And being on a motorbike, there's plenty of space. Uh, obviously, I've got to stop and find food. My plan is just to find McDonald's and <laughs> one, use their free Wi-Fi, two, get super cheap burgers, and maybe a coffee or something just to liven me up a bit because. I'm running on about four hours sleep, and then I'm probably an hour and a half now, so I'll be on five and a half, which is a bit better. I've got my little pillow here, and uh, yeah, get out of sleep. Gonna get some food. Uh, my 4G's not working, so we're gonna fix that. All right, we're in a decathlon in France. Come all this way just to look for a little hammock. I walked right past it. So we're just gonna grab one of these 16 euros, isn't too bad. Um, grab that little beige one, because uh, beige. All right, hammock is acquired. It is safely there. It shouldn't scratch my tank. It will float about a bit, which is a little bit annoying. And it'll probably end up falling to the sides a bit, but it's gonna be held in place by this little strap. And now it's just time to basically get on down to Cannes. So, all right, I'm gonna put my location on screen. So I'm at the Decathlon in uh, Calais, or in Calais, and then we're gonna head down to Daraz, D-A-R-R, D-A-R, something like that. Uh, yeah, so it's just on that motorway there, and we're gonna go that way, uh, and then we're gonna take a ride at some big old spaghetti junction roundabout looking thing, and then uh, hopefully we'll have a little stop there, and then I'll get back to you guys. So. All right, 
Alrighty, so I parked up here, had a 20 minute nap just behind that bush. Uh, feeling a bit more refreshed. Uh, I ate my last uh, breakfast bar biscuit thing, so gonna need to get some food. Um, so we'll back the helmet on, get on the bike and uh, start heading off. So just sat down at a service station. Uh, it turns out I took a wrong, wrong direction, which is great ground. So I probably added an extra hour onto my trip. Just wish I'd put like, bought like a phone mount so I could have my phone at least there. So I could, so we're on track now, about a few miles away from sort of connecting back onto the main sort of spout. And then we're gonna head straight south, basically smack bank center of France. Yeah, so we're about halfway. We've got about six hours left to go. I'm shattered. I don't know how I'm gonna do another six hours today. Uh, I'll po probably do three or four more and it'll probably get too dark and I'll get cold and then I'll probably just find a little spot to hammock up and sleep, so that'd be quite fun. I might, um, I thought of the genius idea to put the uh, hammock bag between my um, shorts and my trousers to cushion the cheeks. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna eat a seven euro meal deal, feel absolutely robbed. Um, I've got a Coca-Cola and a pack of crisps. So I'm gonna just munch this down, enjoy uh, just chilling out for a minute. And then uh, we've filled up with petrol again for the fifth time. Uh, we've done about 450, 500 miles. And we've got about another 400 miles to go. I'm going for a walk to find a spot to see if we can pitch my little uh, hammock. Truckers and stuff there, you wanna stay away from them because apparently they murder prost prostitutes according to uh, you know, Jeremy Clarkson. Job, and I'm not just saying this to win favour with lorry drivers. It's a hard job. Change gear, change gear, change gear. Check your mirrors. Murder a prostitute. Change gear, change gear. Murder. Cool. All right, I found my spot. <laughs> anyway, so we got one end up here, and we got the other end here. Uh, I don't know if it holds my weight, and I have just tied regular knots. So this is the moment of truth. Whether I break the hammock. Right. So. Uh, it's four in the morning now, and it's starting to rain a little bit. Oh, one successful night in the bush. <laughs> um, didn't get mauled by a bear. Didn't get stabbed by a truck driver. So good to go. Just got to pray now that the motorbike is actually still there. The bike is still there. Got myself um, a sandwich, not too bad. All right, I think it's about time I gave you guys an update. Um, I'm laying on the floor. It is way, 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 way too hot to be riding um, at the moment. <laughs> it's, you know, it's bad when you're driving and all you can feel is hot air hitting your face and you're getting hotter and hotter in the helmet. So that's lovely. Uh, it's only, to be fair, it is only 31 degrees. It's not like it's scorching hot and it could be a lot worse. But man, I'm not used to riding in this heat. Uh, I'm about 150 miles away kilometers away from Cairns uh, which is great news yeah fingers crossed we can get there and then I'm basically just gonna lock the bike up against a, a lamppost it's not often that you drive the entire length of a country to meet people that you never never met before yeah it should be should be all right there's some benefits to this is a little road trip for myself uh, it's good to just be by yourself and to get on with stuff uh, I like doing this uh, being by myself is the best part um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know that sounds really bad, but no, I, li I like my own company. Next you'll see from me is uh, in Cairns, most likely. Uh, hopefully sipping margaritas on the beach, uh, awaiting a yacht. Although, I do need to... Uh, I brushed my teeth this morning, so that's fine. Uh, I do need to shower, wash my hair, uh, and get into some new clothes, because these clothes are smelly. Uh, I'm sorry for anyone that I might have passed um, in these service stations that can smell me, because it's not nice. <laughs> But yeah, I'll see you guys in Cairns on the beach. All right, before I cover her up, we've fucking made it. It's been 900 miles from England and we've done it. This is the location apparently where we're getting on the boat, so I, sh I hope it's not that bloody thing. And if I tell you those, I'm gonna leave. And um, so I'm thinking it's one of these three, which is pretty cool if it is. That one's getting ready to go, uh, so it could be that one. A lot of money in this place, and you can tell. <laughs> I've seen what, like a, a 1970s Ferrari. I'm just driving in here, I was behind two Bentleys. The motorbikes are insane. 
Uh, I gotta find some kind of public sh like beach shower or something. Get this off. I got some washy stuff with me, and then uh, the plan is to uh, get into some sort of party clothes. Uh, I mean, which is basically just shorts and t-shirt and some clean freaking underwear. Because <laughs> uh, I'm wearing the same clothes for two days, so feeling very, very, very grubby. Cool. All right, so we've made it to to Cairns. Um, what a lovely evening it is. I quite frankly. I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's quite like nice just to enjoy the destination. Like the journey was a lot of fun, a lot of stress and anxiety. With the, will I run out of petrol? Will the bike fail me? Will my bike get stolen while I'm sleeping? You know, all this sort of stuff. Or will I get killed by a bear? No. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just trying to like iron my shirt out so uh, it doesn't have too many wrinkles in it. I've got loads in it at the minute because it's been scrunched up in my bag. We'll see how it goes. So in the meantime, I just had a desperado enjoying the sun. Just having a having a nice time because at the end of the day I did just travel 900 miles um, over the course of two days. I think it was something like 15 hours of driving because I went a longer way. So yeah, but if I haven't mentioned it already, the main goal of this uh, sort of event isn't to be a holiday. It is to be a networking event. It is a business opportunity. Uh, I want to you know talk to the founders, uh, the team, see what they've been up to, what's worked, what hasn't, and so we can apply that to our project because. At the end of the day, I'm not the greatest leader. I haven't done very well uh, with our project so far, you know, with developers flaking, with projects and contracts failing. Um, it's not been a good start, but uh, we'll get some insider information from them, uh, see if they're interested in the project, if we can do a collaboration of some sorts, because, you know, they're trying to do title deeds. Well, maybe that links with housing deeds and, you know, we can maybe give away houses to each communities and stuff like that, you know. There's a lot, like, I'm talking about like real houses. <laughs> When we get to that point.